here. This is our Cosin AH1010J. It's one of the older Cosin saws, um, good quality Taiwanese saw. And this saw would have done um, plenty of work, but it still ticks over very nicely. It's got the old style um, when you're in automatic mode of actually physically hitting a stop there, um, which uh, you know ends the cut and starts the next cycle. It's got three um, cycles, I suppose. One is a complete manual one, then a, then a semi-manual, and then an auto one. It's got a small, um, a short in-feed roller there. We hand wheel on the um, feed motor. It's got the roller feed set up there. Control panel, someone's um, fitted a new counter at some stage, a new modern counter. Um, your bars here for um, setting your material length, stop, etc. Um, it's got a blade breakage switch there as well. And looks reasonably tidy in under there. And yeah, so general conditions, not too bad. Well, I'll take you through the different cycles. Um, I'll take that up. So you just got your push button up there um, till it hits your limit switch. The fully manual cycle, I suppose, is really um, on your wee hand wheel there. Um, uh, on that feed motor, you can um, uh, move that in and out, and then basically um, start your blade up and push go. Um, it's got the wee hydraulic regulating valve with how uh, for, with your down speed, so it's done the cut and then gone back up again. Um, uh, so that wee hydraulic valve in regards to regulating your down speed works nicely. Um, so that's that fully manual cut. Um, the other way is if I start that up, I can electrically just um, switch the roller feed in and out so I'm bringing that material in and out at the moment and I can do a cut anywhere where I want or um, if I want to I can um, uh, feed that material out until it hits this um, micro switch here that I've set and which I'll do now and there it's stopped um, so if I set this up at a length then I can just electrically bring it out and it'll hit um, that material um, uh, stop and while I won't have to measure it etc. And the other feature um, that it's got is the auto um, so I'll reset that counter I've got that set on three cuts and um, I go on to auto so I'll put it on auto now it's come out and um, hit that stop um, I'll slow that down speed there so it's cutting one cut there hit the bottom stop come out hit material stop every time um, it finishes a cut the rollers um, back off a little bit so the material doesn't catch the blade on the way back up and that's set on a timer in here you can have it back off quite a bit or just a small bit second cut done that cut hit the bottom gone back up back that steel off feed the steel back out hit the micro switch and it's starting its third cut that's the coolant I've just turned on there so that coolant system's working third and final cut so that's the fully auto cycle. So it's ticking over really nicely, it's reasonably quiet and yeah, ready to do some more work.